In this discussion, you can see how to create compute field in brief and supported attribute. In case you missed previous video related related field, please check link is given in description. We are just reattaching this one. First of all, we need to understand is like how compute field is working. In case I am trying to change this public school or private school based on this change event of any field like it will impact other fields like let's say in public field if i'm changing into public field then rank automatically appear as a 100 if i'm changing to private school it will change as a 50 like some parts you need to automize or some behavior you want to change from background based on some condition that time like compute field is working again i'm going to editor I'm going to an editor to change compute field in school profile. Let's say the school type public and private. I'm just creating one more at one more field as a compute field. Auto rank equal to fields dot integer. I'm using integer field because while changing public to private or private to public only digit will change based on the conditions. You can also add your field name here as a string or many to one, many one to many, many to many you can also add here. Based on your conditions you can also apply this compute method. Now I'm just simply use compute in bracket i have to give one method name which will automatically call by odoo auto rank populate so this is my simple method name and i am just giving one attribute as a string from G as a gui purpose def self for rec in self if rec dot school c double dot school underscore type equal to equal to private then rec dot auto rank equal to 50 else elif type equal to equal to public One hundred else rec dot auto rank equal to zero. Now I have to add this field into form view. and upgrade the module upgrading the module and refresh the page now you can see by default is uh, zero and user can't add it because compute field is always read only by default and you can see like this zero means else condition public means 100 you can see here choose a private school and going to save you can see here the value is also changed automatically so based on that you can also add or you can also populate based on this condition one more thing is if you will check auto underscore rank won't be registered in database search. school underscore profile you can see here auto rank is not visible but if you want to add 
permanently in database side so simply you have to use one more attribute is store equal to true that's it upgrade the module refresh the page and once refresh will complete we'll see from database side you can see auto underscore rank is zero so we'll see id is a three as a 50 so like this way you can also use one more thing is we already changed like once we will change here and going to save button then after the impact will be visible so now as you can see like from front end side like whenever we are changing here and once we will save the record then after it will automatically populate the data but uh, sometimes what happen is user want immediate changes like sometimes some specific record won't be visible directly without changing like once i will change public to private or private to none selection then immediately it will change here so like this way it is also possible but here we have to add one uh, decorator and the decorator name is api dot depends and this depends decorator will help you to change from GUI side immediately this method will call so right now we are just adding one uh, add field name is a school underscore type whenever this field change it will immediately this method will call automatically from front end side and uh, populate in background and it will return the data so here you can see we having some error i think we missed we have to import the api now we just simply upgrade the mod no need to upgrade the module only restart the service and refresh the page private you can see directly without changing you can see it it's appear as a 50 if i'm deselect both option it become as a zero so simply it's become as on change event this type of school on change based on that data will populate here now let's see i'm just changing as a public school and uh, in database side it will store as a 100 again going to editor here we are just using a list of supported attributes one more attribute is help which will work as a tooltip school type change I'm going to refresh the page and uh, I'm over to this auto rank label you can see that pop that message so this is a tooltip again I'm going to in external side and we can just override string label only rank and upgrade the module you can see here it's a auto rank now but once i will refresh the page it will become as a rank only so you can see it's changed as a rank one more attribute is invisible equal to one this attribute is helping to hide this record from GUI side. Upgrade the module and refresh the page. You can see this field invisible automatically. So you can't see here. One more attribute is no label. 
equal to 1 so no label means like uh, that label name should not be visible in GUI side upgrading the module and refreshing the page but here you can see only you can see the values not a label name you can see 100 I'm just changing the value 50 but you can't see here as a label name so like this way you can also do it from your end I hope you can understand and in case you having any doubt please comment below see you in next video